don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Sahara Football. As usual, I'm your host, Elasi Fiawoyi. Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about Andrea Yu. Yes, we all know his problems are well documented, struggling to get a club to play for. But it looks like he's finally found one in Derby County. The fans of Derby County reacted on social media to news that possibly Andre Ayu could be joining their club. I'll let you know their reaction. Also, Ghanaian player Samuel Ousu, who impressed really well at the AFCON 2019, albeit when we has been knocked out by Tunisia in the round of 16. It looks like Dortmund wants to swoop his move to Marseille. Yeah. That's the latest day. I'll give you more details on that. And Ghana Football Association, the normalization committee, has set the date for elections to elect a new Ghana football president. I'll be giving you more details in that as well. As usual, if you're new to the channel, I'll advise you to subscribe and to click on the notification bell to get more updates. So we all know Andrea Yu, the brother of Jordan Ayu, a son of Ghana legendary player Abedi Pele was struggling earlier on in the summer to get a team to play for now swansea city the parent club he was with before he went on loan to fenerbahce wanted to offload him because of his high wage demands and it is it's quite an unfortunate situation for him because he's a great player he's a good player and any team should be lucky to have him but the wage demands of swansea made known clearly by chairman of the club was too much for them to handle and it's quite unfortunate that they can't take on Andre Ayu any longer. Jordan Ayu, his brother, has moved on since then but new reports are circulating that Derby County could be interested in signing Andre Ayu. Yes, Derby County have made their intentions known and the fans of Derby County have reacted to that news. Now, it says here that Philip Koku, who was the manager, he worked with Andre Ayu at Fenerbahce. He was sacked subsequently from Fenerbahce. It's I a reunion with a 29 year old, having previously signed him on a season long loan deal when he was at Fenerbahce. Now, the reports have sparkled excitement among fans of championship side Derby County, who have taken to social media networking sites Twitter to express their joy. This is what one person said. He says, Dabi wanting are you I'll drive him up myself and take a packet of crisp for him <laughs> that's quite interesting another one says here that Dabi County manager Philip Koko is interested in bringing Andre Ayu on loan football guy I've already arranged to have his bags packed another person responded so it's obvious from these tweets that most of the Derby fans are excited about Andre Ayu's arrival at their club he said I like I'll be happy with are you joining Derby on loan? Conditions will state not allowed to play against parent club. Hopefully, he hits a bit of form and take point off our rivals. So, it's quite clear the fans are happy with this move. Now, although Philip Koku was sacked just four months in charge of Fenerbahce, are you impressed him during his time with the Turkish side who are keen to bring him back to the club? It now seems, however, that the Canaries could face competition from their former manager who is thought to have told his new employers to look to sign the player before the close of the summer transfer window on thursday and that is that with the IU issue the transfer window closes tomorrow we all know the agreement that was signed by the premier league clubs that was last year that the transfer window would be closed before the season starts so that there will be no further interruptions in their business as the season started it was something they agreed upon and it's taking effect now and andre are you if he's going to join derby county or any english premier league side or any english side has to make that move now that move has to be made now and it's clock is ticking time is not on their side 8th of august tomorrow the transfer window will close and the premier league will start on the 9th of august championship has already started it started last weekend and Hopefully, Andrea, you can get these issues sorted out. But what do you think about his move to Derby County? Philip Koku, the manager, Derby County, he has worked with his told his employers that he's interested in getting Andrea you for the club. What do you think about that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments box concerning that issue with Andre Ayu and Derby County. So I move on to my next story is about another Ghanaian player, Samuel Ousu. Yes, Samuel Ousu impressed really well at the AFCON 2019. We were knocked out in the round of 16 by Tunisia. 
but he got his debut tournament and it was much needed experience that he got he was a 23 year old who was taking part in his first afcon and it was quite interesting to see him after so many talks about him and his amazing dribbling skills i was looking forward to seeing him and i i have to say i wasn't totally disappointed though he needs some improvement obviously as does any player so samuel also i brought you a story here that two french clubs were interested in him psg and marseille now it looks like the psg move was called off and i brought you that update and now it looks like that marseille move is going to be swooped by borussia dortmund yes borussia dortmund are looking to swoop that move for samuel also he's currently with kokariki and it's not clear whether this move will pull through but it says that the german giants Borussia Dortmund are lining up a sensational move for ghana winger samuel Dosu. fresh media reports have claimed on tuesday that was yesterday now the 23 year old nimble footed kokariki star has popped up on the radar of the bvb following their sterling display for his native country at the 2019 african cup of nation in the summer fresh reports have claimed the German powerhouse are interested in bringing the sensational speedster to the Signal Iduna Park. The transfer window is shut. French giants Marseille and PSG have been jousting for his signature, though it appears Marseille could be the final destination after PSG splashed 80 million on Pablo Sahabi from Sevilla. Now, however, the highly rated prodigy has emerged on the radar of Dortmund, who are keen to bring the versatile Ghanaian to Germany. It's been a remarkable year for the Ghanaian who bagged 7 goals and 10 assists for Bukariki last summer. Another fab fabulous run at the African Cup of Nations, his debut tournament as I said, also has quick feet, can penetrate defences and can play across the front three. And Bukariki are holding out for a big offer obviously and the transfer window will close very soon. England it will close on the 8th of August as tomorrow. At the end, at the rest of the teams, it will close in September, first September, the transfer window closes, and I think that business can be sorted out before the window closes. But what do you think about it, Borussia Dortmund? So many clubs interested in him all of a sudden, and one none of them are making any concrete moves. But Borussia Dortmund are the latest to make or show an interest in someone also. Would you want him to go there, or would you want him to stay in? Kariki, or probably move to Marseille rather. Your thoughts are welcome in the comments box and let me know your thoughts. Where do you think Samuel Usu should eventually go should he decide to change clubs from Kokariki? Final story has to do with the Ghana Football Association. We all know what happened last year after Anasis expose on June 6, 2018 brought down the walls of Ghana football Kwisin Yantichi and his hierarchy collapsed and a new Ghana Footballing Association had to be formed. Now, following that, World Governing Body on Football appointed a normalization committee to oversee the running of football activities in the country. The normalization committee took on the mandate and since then has organized a competition and that has given us our representatives for Africa, which are Kumasi Asante Kotoko and Ashanti Gold. Normalization committee requested for an extension after their mandate ended in March and they requested for an extension. Now that extension will end on September ending and now they have decided that the GFA elections will be held on September 27th. So that is the mandate of the normalization committee coming to an end. They have decided that the new elections will be held on September 27th. Now the Football Association will hold its elective congress on September 27th. The normalization committee will supervise the election of new leaders of the association next month. An election of a new president and its executive committee members will draw the curtain on the activities of the normalization committee who have been in the helm of affairs for 12 months amid several controversies. Congress, which is the highest decision body, will either adopt or reject amendments made to the statutes when the FA have convened at an extraordinary congress on september 15th or 16th if the new amendments and electoral code are approved it will pave way for the election of a new leader 
for the Ghana Football Association. So that is the latest with the normalization committee. And it went on September 31st and the elections are set to take place on September 27th. Are you excited about this? The football is still not back. Hopefully it will be back before then and can, we can sync it with the European calendar. But what do you think about these latest developments in terms of the normalization committee and all that? And everything I've spoken to you about today, Kukariki player Samuel Usu, BVB, Borussia Dortmund have shown interest. Should he move there? And Andre, are you to Derby County? What do you think about that? I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day.